girl, Duchess Kiki. Look here. Your girl is about to throw down on some crabs. It is the um, Friday before Memorial Day week, before Memorial Day. And uh, let me see if I can fix my color on the video here. Okay, that's a little bit better. So your girl went and got her some crabs. See, this is why I don't get crabs where I live because I live in a tourist area. So when I get crabs where I live, they're expensive. I always try to go to where I'm from, which is about 45 minutes away from where I live. And crabs are much cheaper there. Um, but I ain't had no choice today because I won't go on 45 minutes away because I already got to go for this wedding tomorrow. I got to go to another part of Virginia and that's going to be another about 45 minutes to an hour to get there. But y'all, I got me some steamed crabs. And for a whole, it's $25 for a dozen. I should have got a half a dozen. I don't know what made me get a dozen, but they're going to last me all weekend. I wanted some crabs so bad. And then I got one pair of, um, I don't know if y'all ever heard of these before, but this is fr called fried crabs. So the, in this area, they clean them out. They clean out the crab and then they dip it in a batter and fry it. It is so delicious. Not good for you, but I'm celebrating. This is a Memorial Day weekend. So let me tell y'all what's going on. Let me tell y'all what's going on. I got my thing to crop my crabs. I got my little fork to cut my crabs. And then I got this new little thing right here. This is going to help me with my crabs too to get the meat out. So, yeah. Got, I got all my little tools, okay? Uh, I'm going to start with the fried crab because I ain't had one in about two years. And I've been waiting for this, okay? But, y'all, when God bless you, the double mess start messing with you. So... Um, yesterday morning, I realized, I was like, okay, I know I got the air conditioner on, but why is nothing coming out? Like, I don't feel it getting cool. Well, y'all, this is good. You just pull the batter off and then you got the crab on the inside and you just still get to the meat. I just got hot sauce and vinegar on it. This is a fattening food. Anyways, y'all, my air condition was not working. So yesterday when I got home from work, me and my son trying to get this air working, we did the breaker, all that stuff. The fan on the unit outside comes on but no air is coming through the vent, through the, um, the, the thing that's in the attic. Cause the bigger unit is in the attic. And nothing is coming through my vents. It, you will hear it come on, but nothing's coming through my vents. So, I had to end up after me and my son couldn't get it to work. Of course, I called my dad. I didn't want to bother him, but I did. And that's all he could think of was to turn that unit and add it off and back on because it's got a break on it. But, and then you just, after you eat all that off, you just crack open the crab and there's your meat. So, I ended up having to call the home warranty people and they're going to tell me that they didn't have anybody that could come out. So I had to go like on a waiting list until they could get somebody assigned to me. When I woke up this morning, you know, I was upset about that, right? I've been paying them every, they get paid every month since 2016. Never had a payment not go through, not, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a faithful customer. You telling me that now I got my air conditioner not working and you ain't got nobody that can come fix the HVAC can't come in. You don't have an HVAC person? So I 
I um but yet you want to take my deductible. My deductible is $75. So ended up because I have my air conditioner under my home warranty. When I, I was smart when I moved in, I got everything in sight that could go on home warranty on home warranty in this house. And it's been on home warranty since I've been here. So what I did was I um I, today when I woke up, I like I had a text with the company and it said to call them and make an appointment. So I called them, made an appointment. The guy is coming tomorrow between, she said he, she can get them here to, between 11 and 3 tomorrow. I was like, praise Jesus, yes. I said, but if you have somebody that can come this evening, it is legit hot in my house. Like last night was awful. I said, she, she said, if anybody cancel, I'll let you know. I said, please do, thank you. So right now, as of right now, I'm gonna be late to the wedding. I text my aunt to let my cousin know that I'm gonna be late, but I will be there. Um, we gotta get them a gift. I just thought about that. How about they getting a good old gift card? I'm gonna have my son pick it up tomorrow. They're gonna get a gift card from Kohl's or somewhere like that. So they can go get whatever they want. I ain't got time for the final gear. So um the man I asked, is he gonna cause the wedding is at 2 30 and I have to drive across the water on the other side of where I like way in another city. So um two cities over really think about it <clears throat> so I said I told him I was like I'm sorry but I gotta get this air fixed I cannot be here on a holiday weekend and no air my aunt said I understand do what you gotta do pretty much y'all upstairs is so hot because I don't know if y'all know when I got my roof replaced last summer the shingles that they put on are hot like they are hotter than the shingles I originally had. Like they hold, they hold heat. It's good in the summer. I mean, in the winter, but in the summer, man. But it works out for me when my air working on. You know? So usually downstairs is much cooler. So I might have to sleep down here tonight. I didn't sleep down here last night. And by this morning, it was cooler in my room. But I think I'm going to have to sleep down here tonight. Because I got the ceiling fan down here. And, um... Because it's legit right now, 90 degrees outside. So, luckily, I got that going. It feel kind of cool in down here. But... Yeah... So that's what's going on with me. And y'all think everything always good in my life? Mm-mm. Honey, I go through too. And yesterday I was a little down about it. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little sad. But. All I can say now is thank God for the home warranty. Legit. Thank God for the home warranty. Because if it wasn't for that, man, I would have been messed up. I would have. I would have had to dip into some other funds and I ain't want to do that. You know? So, that's what's going on with me, y'all. Nothing new. Just, just I wanted to let y'all know. I know it look like everything glamorous on this end sometimes. But I go through just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. 
just like everybody else. I don't have no special treatment because I'm saved. <laughs> now, God does give me favor in situations, you know. And then it's all about how we handle the situation. I had to repent last night. I was a little upset with the I was a little upset with the guy from the warranty company. I'm gonna tell me he had no he had nobody that he could sign. That that when you sitting in heat, uh, and somebody tell you that, and that's a test right there of your faith. <laughs> So, I usually I get 40, two, no, two pairs, but I only got one pair today. I just figured I'm just going to enjoy the weekend. I'm not going to worry about what to eat, what not to eat. I'm just going to, I'm just going to enjoy my weekend. I need, we got off at my office closed at three o'clock today. Are you talking about somebody happy? I was so happy. So, so happy. You just don't know. So. People driving crazy out there. That don't make no sense. But then I was dreading to come here because I knew the air wasn't working. So I'm kind of dreading coming here. Yep. So I've been here since living here since 2016, and this is like the first issue like this. So regarding my air, so I'm grateful, you know, that it lasted this long. I just can't keep saying why it had to happen on this weekend, a holiday weekend, when I'm excited to be home for the weekend. Um, we'll see. The return is in the attic, so he don't have to go in that hot attic. It's hot out there. But he a HVAC person. He used to go in the hot attic, hot places like that. So. <sighs> I did. I did. I stopped at Chick Fil A because I needed to eat something. I didn't even take a lunch today. Y'all just turn up these crabs. I'm about to get turn up. Open up these thing ones. The two fried, the gum. I can go through some some crabs, y'all. The two fried are gone. So now I'm about to tear up these thing ones. Let me let y'all see how one look. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna shake them up though, cause they just poured the. This is a steam one. They just poured the stuff on there. But I don't think they shake them up. So the salt. I should have said a little bit of salt, a little bit of the stuff. Can I be trying to wash that off of that seasoning? So let me give it a dig into these, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Pray for your girl that the heat, that the air start working. Pray for your girl as she go through this, because this is a trial. It's all in how you and how you go about it, I guess. So talk to you guys later. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And y'all know what you need to do. Be the best you that you can be. My my nightshirt says, I love Jesus, and I really do, and I need him right now.